I got the privilege of speaking with Gordon Dick, who is an Aboriginal worker for the North Vancouver School District. So thank you to Gordon as he talked to me while he was on a break from work and for speaking about a sensitive topic like this. So I ask you, what if the horrible never happened? What we did to the First Nations was horrible, making them go to residential schools, giving them sickness when we came, and killing them with their guns. Also, when they released war on the First Nations, it was totally unfair. The First Nations were not expecting it. They had guns against weak bow and arrows, and they had more people and more knowledge. James Cameron's great movie titled Avatar has a lot of themes, one of them being colonialism. So how colonialism connects to Avatar is when the humans came to Pandora to dig the Anabtanium, it's like how the settlers destroyed the First Nations when they came, how the humans killed the Navi to get the precious metal just like settlers ki killing for fur and wood. We, we lived like a, a pretty simple life um, based upon like the medicine wheel on being balanced and everything that, you know, we took from the land, we, we gave back. Mm -hmm. You know, like when we fished, we used to give back the bones or, you know, like uh, we try to use the most um, of, of the animal that, that we used or, you know, the trees for our shelter and, and our, our transportation. Um, we didn't take more than, than we needed. Um, and, you know, like we didn't, we didn't, we didn't compete on having like the biggest like longhouse or a big house or, or whatever. We just lived as a, a family or a community and um, I don't think it would have changed at all. Respecting uh, Mother Nature and his other animals, um, so I don't think we would have had too much. Um, um, only what we needed. And the, the the biggest thing was um was that was was the love when when they took the, the children away to the, to the residential schools. Um, it was pretty much taught how to hate. Yeah. Um, they you know they they're recommended. For, for being for being indigenous and you know so that affected all the all the parents right and you know you still see the effects today in, in some families and, and we're still working towards you know healing including myself I'm actually on, on a break right now um, and you know they say it's gonna take seven generations so that the simple you know that that that, that love we have for one another. Yeah. I think it would be amazing. Um, I think the very first um, contact was, was great. You know, they were on the right path. Um, obviously, because like they had like um, you know great conversations. We, we shared tools. We shared you know, ideas. Um, it wasn't until some other people came and, and wanted to change change things. But I think I think it would be a, a great um, friendship as we're trying to work towards now, right? Yeah. Trying to be a better Canada by reconciliating and, and learning this. Um, I think I think we're on the way. But you know, um, I think you know with, with everybody that we have in this country, North Van, our city, and it's diverse, you know, sharing ideas. Um, it is a beautiful thing, a beautiful gift, something that should be. Gordon talked a lot about how the Europeans stole the First Nations love when they tried to destroy their culture. He also talked about how if the Europeans never made contact, then the First Nations would have kept the land safe and untouched. That life would have been better if the settlers never came. They would have built massive buildings or made ski hills on Seymour, Cypress and Gross. But he also talked about if the settlers treated and with kindness and respect and fed ideas off each other to build a proper home. So I ask you, what if we all just got along? We have worn Shark Day for reason, to reconcile for First Nations, to realize what our ancestors did wrong, to destroy their love, their culture, and their freedom. So some ways to help um, reconcile, to help patch the horrible mistakes um, we made, um, to quote unquote beat the Indian out of them, which is just supremely racist. So some ways to reconcile are watch movies, read books or articles on First Nations culture to properly learn what they went through. Um, you can identify and acknowledge the land you which live on. And finally, um, you can volunteer or for nonprofit First Nations organizations. 
and thanks for watching.